All right, everybody. I think it's time we made some uh, what I call real bean soup with uh, dumplings. So let me just show you what we've got here as far as ingredients first and then uh, we'll get into making it. So we've got bay leaves some uh, navy beans. Now you're supposed to use the navy beans that are dry. You soak them overnight and I didn't have any and I just happened to have these so I might as well use those. Uh, milk for the dumplings and I have beef broth. Now again to make the broth back home we used to put some bones put them in a big pot boil them up for a couple of hours and you'd have your your broth but simplicity I get and I know I, I hope it's gonna taste good just like I remember even though I'm using some ingredients that are sort of instant compared to the way we used to make it now how we used to do it was like I said put some water in a big bowl put the bones in boil it but now I'm gonna put the broth in put some bacon in and get the get it a little bit flavored that way put some uh, potato in garlic eggs for the uh, dumplings and some flour for the dumplings and then some other seasonings salt pepper whatever have you there we're gonna make a big batch of real bean soup so I'll start by uh, maybe getting the broth going with the bacon put that in the pot uh, get that all going with the with the bacon there get it uh, up to boiling and then we'll put the uh, potato in and uh, the beans a little later and in the meantime while that's going I'll uh, make up some dough for the dumplings and I can spoon it in I like lots of dumplings and lots of beans so anyway so I'll come back at you when I've got the broth and everything going here and fire it up okay so far we've got the broth the bacon the bay leaves the garlic until we get it up to a boil we'll boil it for a few minutes and then I'll put the potato in and a little while later we'll put the beans in and then I'm gonna make up some dough for the uh, dumplings here and while this is getting while this is boiling so I'll get back to you when I've got the um, flour and are made uh, to dough Okay, the broth is boiling. I put the potatoes in. I just put one potato in. And then the dough I'm getting ready. You can see the consistency here is not enough yet, so I have to put a little bit more flour in there. It's too runny yet. It has to be spoonable. So we'll make up, we'll keep stirring the, the uh, dough and I'll put in a bit more flour and we'll get it ready to put in. Okay, the potato, the beans, bay leaves, bacon, broth, it's all in here now. Bring this to a boil again so that I can get the potatoes close to done. The beans are already been soaked so they're from out of a can so they're uh, mushy. I usually like the hard beans, navy beans, you soak them overnight. Um, they swell up but 
and you don't use uh, broth like out of out of a box like that. You usually make your own broth out of beef bones, pork bones. So hopefully this won't taste too much different, although it probably will. And as far as the dough goes, I have got the correct consistency now where you spoon it up. It just doesn't quite fall off the, off the spoon. You put it in the soup and it makes dumplings and man I love lots of dumplings I love the beans and the potato I love everything about it I can hardly wait here so it'll be bean soup tonight for supper it's like 10:30 in the morning 11 it's just uh, yeah 10:30 in the morning so this will be perfect for tonight I like I love it when it's uh, like almost like cooked a second time on the second day that's when it tastes the best but anyways, we'll come back when I'm ready to put the uh, dumplings in. I'll turn this soup up and get it really boiling here. There, we got some <clears throat> dumplings put in. And uh, this is what you do. You just get a spoon, scoop up some dough. Comes right off. And you just keep doing this tell it's all in there. Love it. This is going to make a nice big thick batch. Okay, we'll come back at you when I've got it all in there and cooking up nicely. Now you try not to waste any dough. You put it all in. Let me just show you how thick this stuff is. I don't know if you can see that very well, but this is our family tradition, traditional bean soup or dumpling soup or whatever you want to call it, but it's got beans, potato, dumpling, that's, and you know, your spices and what have you, your broth, but the main ingredients, potato, beans, and dumplings. So now we just let this cook for a while until the potatoes are done. It doesn't take long for the dough to get done. And the dough is just eggs, milk, flour, and, and that's it. I think I might have to put a little bit of water in there so that it doesn't get too thick. I'll come back at you when we're just about done. Look at this, guys. Another bay leaf still. And I think I have a thing of bacon in here still. But, man, oh man. <laughs> this is bean soup, my friends. Is she going to be windy tonight or what? Right on. Let me dish you up some here. Look at the nice dumplings in there. Look at that. Now the camera's not going to do this any justice whatsoever. But, maybe someday they'll have smell-o-vision and taste-o-vision where you can have a taste. <laughs> this bowl ain't gonna last too long. I'm gonna have this done in no time. Anyways, that's the soup. Bean soup. Potato, beans, and dumplings. Right on.